Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. I am Wishblade and we have an expedition. So, as we see, provide with some goodness. This recipe looks real tasty. Dried albatross. Eh, Scout ships. Oh well, here's something. And then, skit. Aizen, I'm sorry about earlier. The fight you mean? Don't worry about it. I'll hate you until I'm in the grave though. Uh. A jest. I just... I didn't know what I should do. It's fine to take your time to decide. But as with everything, the choice is ultimately your own. And if your choice leads to killing me, I won't complain. Yeah. But by the same token, it might end up with me killing you. Yeah, I guess so. Ugh, I talk too much. That's the Veed bastard's got me all riled up. Oh, I said you're so wonderful. They're all alive. Just unconscious. A fighter, not a killer, huh? I guess so. That guy, Savid. Hmm. Definitely some kind of mysterious bugger. I will definitely say that. Also, considering I'm in a new kind of area, maybe I should go around and get some of, some of these here enemies killed by the means of dangerous encounters, but nah, I'll do that in a moment. First and foremost, I will go up here and get myself some items, yes, because this will lead us to the northern section of this wee little Danan highway area, where we couldn't get up because there's a slippery area that we can't walk up right over here. So yeah, but there's also a chest, and the chest contains a life bottle. Now you guys, Snake and I don't know whatever the hell you actually are, I can't remember your name right now. I'll be getting to you in a moment, don't you worry. I'll just get some of this here first, then a little bit of something over here then, and then Snake, I need you so I can do Dangerous Encounter! Sadly, I screwed up entirely, so no Dangerous Encounter here. I did learn a new ability on Rookuro though, Infernal Bloom. I'm fairly certain it was Infernal Bloom, so let's try to get a Dangerous Encounter here and not screw it up and then maybe, potentially, show that off and maybe see Makalu in some more action because obviously it didn't go so well last time when I tried to actively be Makalu. Now, XP, come back here. Come back. Thank you. Nope, that's not. Nope, yes. Damn it, birds, stop running around like headless chickens. Yeah, bastards. Come here. Come here, thank you. Now that's what I like, and wow. So, let's try a little something. Okay, that was a bit of moving back and forward, ever so wonderfully. I like it. Alright, that's basically it. So, now then, come back here. Now who should we kill? I want to kill Snake, because the snakes have traumatized me from killing me so many times. And you were not weak to anything, no, so... I'll just kill you. Goodbye, little XP. Get, get back here. Also, Magalu, show off your prowess. Indeed. Do something. Well, I didn't really get to see that entirely, but whatever. Hey! A flood wall. I believe that was. A wonderful flood wall. I like it. Keep keep at it, Magalu. Keep showing me all the things. Yeah! More flood wall. Keep going! Keep doing it! I want to see it all. That's all I care about right now. Magalu, show me all your power. What is that you're doing? Blood moon? Well, that was definitely some kind of moon and it looked kind of bloody. So, neat. Amber doll. Okay, that is something we can give to Magalu if we wanted to. So, let's have a look. Meh. Capability versus the undead. Well, there are not really that many undead around here, so whatever. Now, where should we be going? I think we should be going this way, and also deal with this dangerous encounter up here! Oh yeah, there's also something I want you to see, and it will happen in a very brief moment right now. Now, rise, arise, ascending angel! And that right there is ascending angel, a mystic art of Marty Lou's. So there you go, I had the opportunity to show that Wee little move off right there. Actually, now that I think about it, 
we haven't really been told or heard anything about Magilu's Brick Soul. Not yet, anyway. Hm. Maybe you should try to make her use it in a battle or something. Just so maybe we can get a tutorial or something along those lines. Now let's uh, get another dangerous encounter somehow, somewhere. Very good. Now, okay. Well, fine, sure. I'll kick your ass if that's what you want me to do. Fine. You didn't get to join in on the dangerous encounter, and now you are jealous. You are envious is what you are. Also, considering... Let's just use this. Okay, I was, was too slow. Supposed to be a joke? Never mind then. Alright then, maybe at some other point, but apparently not right now. I guess we'll just go get the treasure chest then. Fine. What is in the treasure chest? It is... Apple gel. How wonderful. Everyone loves a good apple gel. And over there, Darby and Herb, so we need to go and fetch that as well. Eventually. And up in the northern place where there's that bit of a dead end, there would also be a treasure chest. I believe it's an... It is not N N, not end of that. It is a life bottle. I'm fairly certain. Dangerous encounter. Sure, why not? Come here. All right. Just because. Behold the power of Break Soul. Spell Absorber. Currently, it does absolutely nothing. Why doesn't it do anything? Well, we'll get to that eventually. I suppose it maybe could tell you along the way here. If I could start attacking some of these bastards. Basically, Spell Absorber is what it says on the can. It absorbs spells. If an enemy in the battlefield is casting a spell, then she will interrupt that spell and absorb it. And eventually, at certain points, she will unleash some kind of spell. There are a few that she can use, but there it is very complicated how that all works. So I'm not sure if I can actually explain it proper. Usually, I don't bother much with it. Also, Dire Foe, it is. The Sacred Baboon, it has returned to us. Let us unleash the power of fire upon it. Die, you evil fiend. You must go down. Okay. All right, let's try to chain some things together. Here you go. Ascending Angel, which is also one of those that is kind of a reference to another game. Also, Rokuro don't do zero damage. That's not something you should do. Even though the Sacred Baboon is level 45, it is kind of powerful, I will admit that. Don't do this whole burst, you bastard. I'm not gonna cut you down, you little... something, I don't know. You'll definitely die. Now, I really hope we get that goddamn tutorial on Makalu's Break Soul. After this, it would be nice. Be proud. You made me unleash my full On the grade, I like it. And, no, okay. Well, bugger all then. Okay, well, I'll go visit the shop in a moment. First, I'll go up here and more dangerous encounters! Ooh, we learned something nice right now. We got where. Uh, where should I put it? I don't know. Um, we got Heaven's Wrath, a rapid combination of kicks and from multiple angles. I like it. I want that right there because it is awesome. I will show it very soon. Really soon. Hello, Snake. Can I show Heaven's Wrath on you? Maybe I can. Let's time. give it a try. Also, um, this is something we haven't been ex probably explained yet, but holding down the R3 button thing on the control stick, you will open this menu and then you can ask them to go all out or prioritize the defense. Now, let's see if I can do a little something with the water. Come on, don't you die. Don't you die. And Heaven's Wrath. It's so beautiful! Just a long series of amazing attacks. It is beautiful and it's spectacular. I love it. It is one of my absolute favorite moves because it just looks so amazingly glorious. So glorious, but so glorious my voice kinda died for a moment because I was talking so much. God damn it, man. God damn it. And chest. Thank you very much. And now I suppose we'll go down to the shop. But yeah, Magalus, um, break soul. I don't think she interrupts all spells on the battlefield. I think she has to be a certain kind of distance. She has to be kind of close, or in some way kind of close to enemies who are casting spells. But then she will interrupt those. The more powerful the spell, the more power she absorbs. And at certain points, she will use that power to cast 
a variety of spells. I can probably show them, actually. Let us see right here. On her arts list of uh, break soul, mystic arts and stuff. Calamity Flare, Violet Storm, Flare Vortex, Hydro Storm, Gravity Gale, Lightning Blast. Stuff like that. And apparently she also has her level 2 Mystic Art. How wonderful. But yeah, these basically go in order. First it is Calamity Flare, then Violet Storm, Flare Vortex, Hydro Storm, etc, etc. And when it goes through the entire list, it starts back from the beginning. There is some very fancy way where you can cast the most powerful spell again and again and again by defending and interrupting the Break Soul as she's about to cast the spell, but... I don't really know exactly how that works, so I can't really tell you. Again, I'm not very good with Makulu. I think I'm more experienced with Lafayette than I am with Makulu. But she's very helpful in preventing spell cast, so and it's something. She can be very helpful indeed. And now I will go and have a look at this shop here, see if there's anything interesting. And voila! All the preparation stuff has been done, and these are the people. They look like that. Also, did I do this? Nope, I did not. Where is your PG thing? Catastrophe. That sounds about right, yes. Also, something I completely forgot about. At one point, when I was doing preparation stuff in Logress, I got to level 3 with the shops and stuff. And the only thing I got was a silky touch garment, so no big deal. Nothing important. And was there something else I was thinking about? Um... I think there was, but I can't remember anymore, so onwards! Actually, something, let us see here. Did you learn anything? No, 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 okay. I... I kinda had some vague memory of someone learning something, but it might just have been Rokuro's Infernal Bloom and Heaven's Wrath, because it was awesome. Now, dangerous encounter! Well, that did go so well. Anyway, let's go up and get that wee little herb and be done with the Danan Highway. And then we shall move on to even glorier th Even glorier things. Is that a thing? Is that a word? Even more glorious things. Okay, there we go. We are gonna go up there to the Empyrean Throne. And then we're gonna take down Artorius. After dealing with some things here and there. You act speak. Yeah, you get to live. You can live to tell the tale of my glorious slaughter in the Danan Highway. Also, Smartly, I see you. I saw you from a mile away. Maybe not a mile, but still very long, far away. Stuff. Things. Moving on! The guards are all Malachim. They really do keep humans away from here. But why build a new temple out here? The Shepherd could build in the capital just as easily. This place... You feel it too? There's... powerful energy flowing underground. Right. This is a focal point of the Earth Pulse. The natural energy of the land. The perfect spot to worship Enominat. Hmm. <laughs> or to attack him. I thought I ordered no one to enter. F forgive me. I would not have intruded, but there was an incident at the villa in Logres. Eleanor, where are your mother, King? They... they were eaten by the left arm of a demon. Velvet. What? You know of her? She was a student of mine. So she has bested Oscar, Teresa, and now you. Lord Artorius, I ask that you grant me fresh Malachim. I vow to destroy that demon. You are overcome with emotion. Will you fight a demon with your hatred? P please, I beg you to forgive my foolishness. She broke the resolve of even an exemplary disciple like you. My lord, if I may, there is but one thing I must ask. Why is there a giant demon held captive at the villa? Entry to that place is forbidden to all but legates, Eleanor. 
He was restrained by a Moloch barrier. How could such a monstrous thing like that be held in the capital? Eleanor, why is it you think that birds fly? Huh? It's... so... they can hunt and catch prey, is it not? <laughs> you are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. <sighs> so Velvet is coming. The ties that bind us must at last be severed. Well, alrighty then. The Empyrean's throne, a new temple. With very dramatic and kinda less dungeon-y sound effects, or not sound effects, music. Sounds very epic and grand. Now let's go and have a probably epic and grand expedition. We got a pirate flag and nothing else. Okay, Scout moving on. There you go. And then we have a skit. Hmm. My fighter doesn't seem to be hiding anywhere nearby. I sensed him rush away with great speed. Zavid the Whirlwind, huh? He was tough. He seemed to know Eifried, too. What's the story there? I don't know. Ask him. He used a pendulum as a weapon. When we first met Aizen, he said something about a pendulum, didn't he? It was the only clue he had in his search for Eifried. I'm surprised at how far he's come on something so vague. Does Zavid have something to do with Eifried's disappearance? I don't think this Zavid is a killer. I didn't feel it in him at all. I have a feeling we might cross paths again. He is tangled with the Abbey somehow. He... didn't seem that bad to me. Yeah, he seems like a guy who would be hard to hate. Hate him or not, if he gets in our way, he's in for a beating. Now that's what a killer looks like! Maybe, just maybe, he's a lovable asshole. Maybe that's what he is. Now, we need to deal with that thing, that barrier thing, somehow. But we also have some fighting. Is there, is there a dangerous encounter possible here? I do see one enemy, but I don't see another, so that's a bit sad. I'll go and get the sparkles. I did see the sparkles. There you are, you're hiding behind the rock. The rock appeared later than the sparkle. So, let's have a look at this weird little enemy here. What are you? Wabaraha! And you don't like the null. Alright then, here you go. Why? Oh, come on, let me have some of this awesome power. Give me the combo wing! And... no. No souls, it didn't give me that many souls or anything. That's so sad. Why? There we go. You really do and this is why dangerous can ca uh, can ca yeah, ca encounters are much more interesting. Magalu, what are you doing? Anyway, we got a burning dash. Combat suit. Shoes. They suited for sprightly male fighters. Okay. I guess we have some sprightly male fighters around here. So, I don't know. Any of you want some some Burning dash shoes. Mm. What about you, Axon? Would you want some? Mm. I don't know. Would you want some, Rook Rook? Okay, sure. Also, I'm... Now, that's what I was thinking about with the shop. I'm not sure if I actually said this. I'm sure the game probably did. But, with the enhancement bonus abilities right there, the first one happens as soon as you get to plus one. The second one happens randomly. At some point, it can be at plus one, it can be at plus five, but it will al always be there at the very end. When you get it to max, then obviously it's going to be there, but it can happen immediately, or it can happen very, 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 very late. So, RNG, gotta love it. Now let's open this goddamn barrier, and Makulu's cooking. Coo cooking? What? Coo coo? That's what she's doing. She's cooking. Open up. He holds the power! Goodbye. The magic fades, and the way is open! Now it is, anyway. Boop. What was that? Some sort of contrivance using Moloch arts. 
Probably part of their security system, I'd say. Obviously. We should keep our eyes open for any more surprises. Alrighty then. Our first something surprise, I don't know, is that this area is very, very large, and up there is a double barrier. The locks will be up in that place, and another place way over on the other side. So here we be gonna have a lot of dangerous encounter possibilities. And some sparklies over there. So, I guess, immediately, I will just deal with whatever I can and see you over by that wee little tree over there. So I briefly forgot for blah blah. I can't talk, apparently. I briefly forgot that there are some new enemies around here. Like that wee little tiny thing. And it's one of those kind of pill bug things that went down. We also have these leg ladies. And they cast spells. Magulu, are you here? Yes, you are. Also, Aizen and Makulu. There are some things that I would very much like you to do. Makulu, you just sit over there for a little bit. And then, yeah, I can always switch over to Aizen. So, okay, let's try some fighting. First and foremost, Aizen, thank you, and then, don't hit me, what are you weak to? Water, alrighty then, here, have some water, come on, you know you want the water, you know you want it, oh, I can't use my break soul, I just want to use my break soul so badly, come on, let me do it, it's all I want, it's all I want, god damn it people, I want to use my break soul so I can do some awesome combos, okay, well, Thanks so, thanks with the souls and stuff. And also I didn't use the opportune moment of the thing being stunned and then I got smacked in the butt. That's not very nice, you know. Come on. Be stunned or something. You know you want to. Okay, this is not going very well, clearly. Oh, there you go. Okay. Come on, have some fun. Have some of that fun. And then a bit more. And okay, that didn't go so well. Damn it! Hey, she's not going so well. Considering, I suppose I could try to do a little something with a certain someone, but yeah, I won't get to show it off proper and everything. Oh, I don't know what I should do. I want to do all the things, but whatever. Okay, fine, I'll reposition them for another fight. Okay, well, that's good. We got some cute shoes for the ladies! And with some kind of description. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that, that's not... That's not one of the ladies. No! That is not... That is not right. I'm sure if we're gonna have some cute shoes, just because... Alright. Aizen, you move over there. And Magilu, you should sit there. Alright. Now, I want to get into a fight. Eventually. I also want to go over to that tree. Because there's uh, something I want over by the tree. And I cannot climb up this ladder. Because it's too high up and I can't jump up there, it's so sad. So, is there a possibility for a, a dangerous encounter over here with you, Mr. Thingy? Chamomile, how wonderful. No, I could go up that one, but I don't want to. I just want some enemies to join me in certain places so I can do dangerous encounter because I prefer dangerous encounters. Come on, guys. All right, you, come with me. Ow, little rodent thing. Ow. And you, come here. Come on, come on. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. You know you wanna do it so badly. There we go. All right. And then, a little something. Come on. All right. A little bit of cheating of the mystic arts. We gotta get over to some of the other people. Like right about now. Ready to die? Whatever comes next, this is just the first step to kill you, Howling Dragon! Now, with a single breath, they appear! Here they come! There's no stopping them now! Good breath! Howling Dragon and Good Grip! Both ever so wonderfully spectacular. One being Aizen in his wonderful black, magically something dragon form going all ham on the enemy, and whatever the hell happens with Magilu, something about knocking people up into the sky and then blowing them up with fireworks, and yet again, I said you look entirely terrifying, I will just say this right now, and stop stunning me, you bastards, don't you do it, I don't want you to do it, it's so mean of you, oh thank you, more souls, I like it, 
Maybe I can get up to do an annihilating crash before we end this weird little fight. Maybe, potentially. Okay, there you go. Bye, little rodent. It looks weird with the Did bangs, so the left sweat bangs and her glowing eye. Just a little bit. We get scorching daggers! More things! How wonderful. What are those? Scorching daggers, burning capability, increased. How wonderful. And it's more powerful. Might as well equip it then. Now, what am I doing down here? I believe there should be some treasure somewhere, probably over by the end, I think. Actually, it's upstairs, so I guess I'll go around and, you know, get into more dangerous encounters and see you over by the end, right there to the north. Uh-oh, Narby Diafo! No it is the Sacred Baboon yet again! My goodness, give us something new, people! My god! Now, I totally forgot when I mentioned that Maki Lu's first Mystic Art, Ascending Angel, is a reference to something I didn't really say what the hell kind of reference it was. It is a reference to Tales of Vesperia, but it's more related to certain events in the game. Unless you're playing the PlayStation 3 version, then it is actually kind of a actual mystic art, so there you go. It was a close one. Tales of Asperia. Now you got that reference. And oh, form six, Dark Vortex. Neat. And I think that's basically all the dangerous encounters anyway, so might as well go somewhere. And you don't want to show that thing off. Um I'm not sure if I if I ever showed Scatterburst either. Nah. Hmm. I don't know. Should I? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe it's just more tedious than anything. I don't know. I don't think these things through. Clearly. I just don't. I just feel like I want to do this now. Maybe now I want to do this and stuff. So you enemy, you can, you can stay alive. It's okay. I'll go up here and I will grab the chest that is right up here. What shall be in the chest, we will find out soon enough as we go up the very long ladder, but I've seen longer ladders, so it's not so bad. There we go. And in the chest, we get the Flame Ward. It's probably what it says on the on the tin. Effect of burn reduced by a certain amount. Yes. And right over there, in the distance, you can see there's the key to the barrier up above that we can't see right now. So, I guess, well, is there anything I really need to show you along the way? I don't think there actually is. Basically, you just follow this path right here. There's a few dead ends, but that's basically it. Then you just need to go all the way over there, so... You know what? I think I'll just deal with all the encounters along the way, and I'll see you over there. You cannot possibly get lost unless you go downstairs. And if you do that, then I'm sorry, but that's just weird, so... I will see you over there in the next episode, so thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see you later.